Hey, what's up, you guys? Derek here. Good to see you again. I know it's been a long time, and I apologize for that, but, uh, you know, I farm, I've been busy, I got a farm video here that I'm going to be putting up, and, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, this weekend went out and bought an iPad. Now, you guys are probably like, why? I've heard lots of people make fun of me for buying an iPad. I don't know why I bought an iPad. It's a wild hair, everybody else had one, and I won one, too. I had the, I have the iPhone, so why not have the iPad? Um, still have the regular PC laptops. I don't think I'm going to make the jump to the extra thousand dollars you have to spend to to buy a iBook or whatever the hell they're called. But today, I thought it'd be fun to make a uh, beer review using the iPad to see how the uh, camera works on it. So it's a chilly day here today in North Dakota. It's like 45 degrees. It's I mean, it's not really cold. We had our first snow already of the year, which is crazy. We got an inch here in Fargo, I believe, on Tuesday. Wednesday we got an inch and uh, Thursday we got a little bit more not much like a trace of snow but ever since then it's just been cold it's supposed to stay pretty cold through the weekend but shit you guys don't care about my the weather around here do you I didn't think so so because it is a little bit chilly today I'm gonna do a review on a vanilla porter yeah vanilla porter man I love porters. I love them. love all those dark beers. And especially the ones that taste like chocolate or vanilla, the sweetie kind of dessert type beers. Oh yeah. But, anyways, um, I'm going to do a little cheating because I didn't do any research on this uh, before. Um, I went on their website at breckbrew.com. And then you uh, can go to the links and see what their brews are. they got lots of different kinds of beers. Um... This one, it's, uh, just read right off their website here, and I apologize, I'm cheating, yeah, I'm cheating, recording, cheating, record, cheating, you know. It says, uh, beer style, this is an urban spice beer, it's smooth roasted chocolate with a creamy vanilla finish, chocolate beer, I love it. Uh, top fermenting ale yeast, um, two row pale caramel, bon I can't ever read those malts, man, Bonlander black roasted barley, that's the malts. Um, it comes with, comes with, the hell am I talking about? I'm biting my tongue. Um, the vanilla beans come from Papua New Guinea in Madagascar. Ooh, that probably explains why I had to pay like $15 for a six pack of this shit. Well, not quite 15 but you know what I mean. It was expensive, I don't remember. I think it was like 10 bucks for a six pack or 11 or something. Um, deep brown color, um, bitterness, 16, 4.7 ABV. And 3.76 ABW, alcohol by weight. Uh, let's see what else we can figure out here. Uh, it gives you a couple cool on their website. Gives you some um, recipes you can do. Vanilla porter milkshake. Huh. Four scoops of plain vanilla ice cream. Half a bottle of Breckenridge Brew vanilla porter. Uh, I don't know about that. I probably wouldn't try that. But. Anyways, it's got this weird looking glass. Yeah, there's water stains on it. So what? Let's see. I have a. Open this baby up, huh? Woo! Got a little smoke there. Smoke's always fun, in the words of J.J. Davin. Woo! Smoke! <laughs> Woo! You know, he's always so crazy. Anyways, uh, let's just give it this kind of uh, aggressive pour here. Get some head so we can see what the hell it looks like. Uh, a little bit more grass. Oh. Don't think I was uh, quite aggressive enough. But as you can see, uh, there's a little bit of an amber hue here, isn't there? Look at that. You can uh, the light shining through kind of makes it. Um, I don't know, a little uh, not as dark as I thought it was going to be. According to them, you know, it's uh, deep brown in color. Well, I see a little red there. Um, one finger, tan head, big bubbles, lid bubbles, all the bubbles you can think about. And they're all up in there, popping and spurting around. And, you know, I can smell the vanilla from here, which is great. I can't wait to taste this beer. Um, it's probably a little too cold. I took it right out of the fridge. I let it sit for about ten minutes, but it's still pretty chilly. I think you're supposed to drink these at, like, around 45, 50 degrees, but, um, I don't care. Still can drink it now. So, uh, let's take a sip of this, shall we? Well, first, 
I'm getting ahead of myself here. Yeah, it smells great. Yeah, it just smells great. I mean, smell the chocolate, smell the vanilla, you smell all this tasty, sugary shit coming out of it. But, yeah, let's, let's try this shit, huh? Whew! That is good. That is good, boys and girls. Holy smokes, is that a good beer. It's got this, like, bitter, almost coffee taste to it right at the beginning, but it, that really settles down. It turns really mellow and mild, and you get that sweet chocolate vanilla flavor in the back. It's almost like a French vanilla cappuccino flavor, kind of, in a way. Um, real smooth. Mmm, that's good. Good stuff. Mmm, that's good. It says on the bottle, I don't know if you can see this here, uh, that says, uh, remarkable and partakeable. It's pretty good. Pretty remarkable. <laughs> um, Breckenridge Brewery is out of uh, Denver, Colorado. I know that. Uh, my uncle lives in Colorado Springs, and I'm going to go see this brewery, maybe see what else they have. Uh, you can get a couple other things around here. You can get, like, the Avalanche and some other kind. I don't know. I haven't tried any of them. Um, let's take a look at our last drink here. A little bit of lacing in the glass. Man, that's good beer. I don't think it'd be anything you'd want to sit down all night and have it, drink it as a session beer. You know, this would be really, really good after, like, a steak dinner. Or even with a steak dinner, that'd be great. But you know what the ice cream thing they got going on their recipes there? I could see how that could be good, you know. But you had a glass with about that much uh, beer in it left and um, just put like a scoop of ice cream in there. That'd probably be pretty good, actually. Uh, not sure I'd try it, um, but you can give it a shot. I mean, the chocolate and vanilla flavor really comes out on it or in it, or however you want me to say it, um, and, yeah, all in all, it's a good beer, I'd have to give it, like, a B, I think, or a B plus, I bought a six-pack of this, um, I don't know if it's good for extended cellaring or not, I didn't really look much into this beer, but, uh, I might keep one till around, oh, I don't know, New Year's or something, just let it sit in the fridge, see if that does anything, even though it's, uh, New Year's isn't that far away from now. Unbelievable, isn't it? Where the hell did this year go? Well, guys, until next time, this is Derek here with another beer review from North Dakota. Take it easy. Keep drinking the beers. Keep loving life. Cheers.